This week's episode is part two of Lead Magnets. What's up, fish fans? My name is Marcus, and you're watching Marketing Madness, the Bluefish vlog. In the last video, we shared the concept of lead magnets with you, and we shared why you would use them. Today, we're gonna to go over the characteristics of making a lead magnet actually work. Now, the very first thing that makes a good lead magnet is a great offer. Your offer needs to be something that is so compelling and beneficial to the user that they just have to have it. So I would ask you, what information do you have that's going to be so overwhelming that they're gonna to wanna to part with some of their information? Now, having a good offer isn't the end of this. What's going to compel your target to click on that offer? Good copy. It's imperative to spend some time in creating compelling copy that's going to convert that click. The other thing that you need is a great landing page. The components of a great landing page are compelling copy, good imagery, a clear call to action, and a form that does not ask for a ton of information. Email address and first name are a great place to start. And if you need additional information about them, you can tease the rest of it out of them as they progress through your drip campaign. You wanna make sure that you spend a lot of time thinking about your call to action. You need to create a sense of urgency that is going to compel customers to jump into your sales funnel. So I just mentioned a word that I don't believe we've used before, which is sales funnel. It is the action of putting people into the top of a funnel and then by following up with them, you're going to get them down to the bottom. And if they're not interested or they're not qualified, they may not be somebody that stays in that funnel. But at the very bottom of the funnel, you're hoping that you've built up enough trust with that person and that you've provided them with enough value that they're going to want to do business with you. Also, when visitors click submit, you need to have some sort of system that's going to send them the asset. You don't wanna make it a free download. You want them to fill in the form and then it immediately sends them the asset in the email. You wanna do it this way because you want to verify that that email address actually works. One of the systems that I would suggest if you're already sending out monthly email newsletters is MailChimp. MailChimp has drip marketing functionality built in on its paid platform. That system currently starts at $10 a month. We use a system called Drip, but there are many systems out there that do this. Some of our enterprise clients use a mix of Marketo, Salesforce with Pardot, and HubSpot. Anything that makes it easy for you to create a series of emails where you're following up with this person and continuing to build that relationship with them will work. It's crucial that you not just send them the asset and then hope like manna from the sky that they're going to want to somehow do business with you. You need to continue to foster that relationship and continue to show them value. Well, that's a wrap for this week. I wanna thank you for checking in. Make sure to hit that like button and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you wanna talk about how Bluefish can help you grow your business, just send us a message and we'll get the conversation started.